A large family in Lakeland has visited relatives in the Middle East for years, but on the way home this time, they ran into a huge problem at the airport. Israeli security refused to let most of their children come home. Tampa Bay 10 News reporter Dave Balut has the family's plea for help. Uh, I'm glad I'm here to talk about my situation. We dad Yakub from Lakeland flew home from the West Bank with her three youngest children, but seven older children were forced to stay. They trapped over there and they hate it so much. They want to come back. They keep crying every day on the phone. I want to come back. I want to come back. Yakub says Israeli authorities split up her family at the airport in Tel Aviv, even though they are all American citizens. I begged them, please let them leave. I was crying. My kids, they were crying. The other ones, they were crying. But they said, no, they can't leave with you. They have to go back and uh, issue on a Palestinian ID and they can go through Jordan. They can't leave from the airport. The Council on American Islamic Relations has been trying to help Yakub get the rest of her family home, but so far the State Department has not been able to help. The answer that we've received a lot is our hands are tied. Mm -hmm. This is Israeli policy, this is Israeli we can't law, do anything. and we can't do anything about it. We have to be treated better than this. They don't treat us like an American. Yakub says she may have to come up with $16,000 for new airplane tickets from Jordan. Her 10-year-old son feels lost without his brothers and sisters. Uh, it's pretty uh, bad. I'm, uh, I just miss them because I think something bad will happen to them. I, uh, I just hope they can get here in time. A sour ending to an annual summer trip to the Middle East. In Tampa, Dave Ballou, Tampa Bay's 10 News. The State Department says Israel changed its travel policy in the spring, so now Americans with any Palestinian lineage are not allowed to use the airport in Tel Aviv. The Cube family did not know about this change, but they wonder why they were allowed to fly into Israel but not fly out. They're still not sure when they're going to be able to bring their children home through Jordan. A third